Hey everyone, Dr. Clearfield here. Uh, today I'm talking to you about uh, treating tarsal tunnel syndrome. And so a lot of people are familiar with carpal tunnel syndrome that will get in the wrist, but there's a lot of other tunnel syndromes that we can get. And so there's radial tunnel syndrome, there's cubital tunnel syndrome, and on the foot and ankle area, there's a tarsal tunnel syndrome. And so tarsal tunnel tends to be an entrapment of the tibial nerve that is behind the medial malleolus on the inside of our ankle area over here. And it can cause a severe burning sensation in the foot, sometimes weakness, a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, and I, um, it can be a big thing of disability for a lot of individuals. And so we're gonna be treating a patient with a nerve hydrodissection to help release any kind of a pressure that is occurring in the tarsal tunnel. And uh, this patient we've already treated once on the opposite side and they did fantastic. And so we're treating them on the other side because they had it on uh, both legs um, after a lot of hiking. So check it out. And uh, if you have further questions, go to our website and learn more about it. Thanks. First, we find the right spot for the injection using the ultrasound machine. We then clean up and numb up the area to be injected with a wheel of anesthetic so that no pain is felt during the actual procedure. Next is the hydrodissection. We bring the needle adjacent to the structure to be injected, in this case the nerve, and inject fluid from the bottom, top, and side of the nerve to create a halo around it, separating it from any restricting materials that could be impairing its proper function. We then clean and bandage the area, and in this case, repeat the procedure on the opposite side as this patient had bilateral symptoms. In this clip, you can see the separation of the nerve from the surrounding tissue very well on the ultrasound screen, showing a successful hydrodissection.